Hey, this is Adam from Counting Crows, and you are watching foxnewsmagazine.com. I don't know, someone came up with the idea and put it to both of us, and we both thought it was a great idea. We've known each other for a long time. Before he got signed, really, I think, when he was a fan, he said he came to the Viper Room, and I was bartending there. We met that night, and then we've had a lot of mutual friends over the years. You know, plus, you know, we're, we do the same job. Well, it doesn't really change much. I mean, I think that as an artist, you know, you, at one point you were a kid in your bedroom writing songs when other people were out doing other things, and then you, you know, played them, and then you went to a club and tried to play them in front of people. But to a certain extent, nothing really changes from that. The industry changes as far as the way people market things and the way people sell things and the way people buy things, but you're still just a guy in a room writing songs and then going out and playing them for people. That, that part doesn't really change. It's the kind of thing you should do if you have to, and not if you don't, because it's a little, because it's not very easy to have success at it, at least uh, like monetary success. And also, I guess the biggest advice I'd give anyone is just to be okay with your success being creative successes, because those are more likely to come. You can have creative successes. Monetary successes almost never happen in the arts at all. You know? One thing about Nashville is it's, it's really reasonable. And, and there are a lot of musicians. So that's kind of a great thing. But I still think it's a good place to go for the worst advice ever. Literally, the people that are making records in Nashville have all the worst possible advice. <laughs>